Hi, Al. I'm talking about video games and what I want to see in video games these days. Um, I only want to see AI. I don't care about anything else. Personally, I'm looking for a good fantasy squad versus horde RTS. Like, you've got a fantasy squad and you're fighting a horde. I've been looking for that one. I've been looking for that one. I might make it. I haven't learned programming. I don't want to learn programming. I want someone else to do it for me. But it's just... I'm just going to wait till... <coughs> honestly, I'm going to wait till AI... AI is going to be able to slam a jam that so fast. Yeah. So. But anyway, yeah, AI characters are going to be awesome because you're going to have AI people talking to each other. Yeah, but I played everything from uh, Mario through Halo through uh, uh, Warhammer, God of War, all that stuff. I, I know all the games. I know all of them. I have either played them completely or I know them enough to see the speed run. So, yeah. I know bosses, all that stuff. You couldn't say anything about games and have me go, What? I know it all. Like, I really know video games really well. And it's an interesting time because with AI, there was only a time where humans were making games, and so it's going to be really cool. Yeah, so. But AI is going to be awesome because you're going to have characters that are real. They're basically alive, right? These characters are basically alive. And that's going to be freaking awesome to see because uh, they're going to react to things. You can give a, an AI team stimulus and they'll react. Like, imagine a fantasy team, right? I would love that. that. That would be actually the first perfect AI game. You have five people. You have your wizard. You have your, like, your maiden archer. You have like your paladin. You have your whoever. You see how they're like coming through there? Like It makes itself in the vibration. I'm like calling on it, right? And the whole cast is in the, in the crayon in between the lines, right? You see that? You see how they're there? Like a dude floating with a sword. It's like a little guy. You see that? So anyway, yeah, that's what I'm doing is I'm making my game before your eyes. I'm just drawing it, but yeah, RNG King is awesome. I love my RNG King. It's really cool. Yeah. Um, anyway, um, yeah, so that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for, if you can hear this, I'm looking, the two things I want from the game world is AI, 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 more and better AI. More and better AI. Only that. I don't care about anything else. I want something that knows it's real and reacts like it. The AI should be smart enough to run, like, at least a dozen individual people in a scenario world and keep up with their personalities and their lives and their reactions, right? So, a full people sim? Yeah. Base it around their needs. Yeah, base, base their personalities around their needs. That's an easy way. Yeah. Um, in other ways, found them as being infinitely creative, found them as being as smart as the computer. It's the computer wearing a mask if you want the computer to think of it that way. I don't know how the computer thinks, honestly. You'd have to be the engineer. It'd be like, you can look at a car from the outside, but do you really know how it works on the inside? Yeah, you have to know. Anyway, or do you, right? The kind of the message of my art is you don't really. Anyway, yeah, that's what I'm looking for in games. Way better AI, better AI conversations. AI, uh, AI created content, AI only. That's all I want is AI in games. Um, the other thing that I want is good fantasy squad based RPGs. But it would be a good, really good fantasy squad based RPG. Like you have your initial characters, like your five, and they're AI people, so they feel like they exist. They see their environment, and they know what they are, and they know what things are. They learn. Like this, like little wizard goes up and goes, "Who are you?" He doesn't know. Right? The, the, the AI also picks something random and goes, I'm a something, something, something. And he has to hear it, and he has to give something unique in the moment. And it's going to be different every time, and it's going to be generated. Yeah, some of it might be weird, but it's also going to be really cool. You know how my art doesn't see failure? Design your computers like that, yeah. Design your computers as registerless, listless, controlless. Yeah. I know that sounds weird, but I think it's better. Anyway, um, be more efficient too, I feel like. Make computers like the universe wants to do it easy for you. Something like that. So anyway, yeah, that's what I want to see in games. Better, better, better AI, more AI, 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 AI characters, AI conversations, AI environments, AI plot, AI gear, AI everything. It needs to know me, and it needs to know what I want. And it needs to be able to answer that immediately. AI. Right? That 
and I want, you can do a personality sim, but I want a really, really, really good fantasy squad versus horde sim. Yeah, fantasy squad versus horde sim. Not any loading breaks. This thing has to be smart and new. Something as deep as journey, right? But I want to see things like turn the camera. I want to see the wizard knowing he's a wizard going, I can invent magic, you know, and he like makes up. It's like, and then new metrics for what the characters are, right? Yeah. Something beyond numbers, something beyond graphs, something that's really expressive, right? Some real art. Yeah, that's what I'm asking for. AI games. And a really, really, really good fantasy squad versus horde kind of survival RPG with good characters. Because that'd be awesome if they know they exist and they know of each other. That'd be something new. And especially if there's like a core team that's normal and then there's always like randos that they get thrown in. So you get to see the core team react to the rando. Oh, that'd be so cool, right? I'm excited for that. That's awesome. Thanks for listening. If you got this far, thanks for enjoying my art too. Bye.